Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday, April 11th, and I'm going to talk to you about having a case of the what ifs. You know how we sometimes think, what if I didn't have to work? What if I had more money? What if this? What if that? And these things we're looking to have make us happier in life. And one of the things that I've learned over the last few years, it took me a long time, um, was that our joy is within. We can create our joy and the power of the mind to help us shift our mindset from one of unhappiness to one of happiness. Um, it's, a, it's a strong, powerful thing. God gave us a really incredible computer up here that um, we can master we can program and we can program ourselves for happiness that just takes a little bit of training and commitment to do so but if you want to be happy believe it or not you can be now i know there's a lot of people out there struggling with depression and illness and pain who think that most of the people who say you can be happy if you want to have no idea what it is that you're going through and I would agree with you but I'm telling you I come from a background of having been diagnosed bipolar struggled with severe clinical depression anxiety disorder I actually um, was homebound for three years just did not have any kind of desire to get out in society and deal with people with all the yuck that's outside the door, if you allow it to hit you square in the face, it does. And I just didn't even want to live, truthfully. And it took a long time to really restructure my life and to shift the way that I think about things and to realize that I have this strength inside of me that I can call upon anytime I want to and I have a relationship with God I'm not shy about mentioning that so if that's something that you're not comfortable with whoever or whatever your higher power is whatever your center is please tap into that but for me it's God and God has really protected me and blessed me and I don't mean showered me with money or fancy cars and fancy homes I just mean really taken the burden of living off of my heart and given me the ability to get past the what-ifs. Um, that's not to say that I never slip back into that, but I'm telling you there's a way to get past it. There's a way for you to feel that you have a greater amount of control than perhaps what you feel right now. You have the ability to decide, I want to be happy. I refuse to live in fear. I refuse to live in disappointment. I refuse to be shamed by the people around me and in, so in society. And I know that bullying happens every day in every place that you can go, grocery store, even leaving church, going to church, um, your neighbors, your neighborhood, walking around the park. People, I, I don't, I can't even begin to explain what, what's going on with society to where people feel the need to impose their will and their judgments on each of us. If you're different than them, if they're having a bad day, if they're just cruel hearted, I'm not sure what the motivation is. And for a long time, that would just make me angry angry and confrontational and I had a really hard time letting it go but it seemed like I, I would have to suffer the consequences on a regular basis you know what I'm saying I was not that person who could have an angry outburst and just go on without some sort of consequence whether it be police involvement or what have you it was never just this outburst and that made me even angrier, but, you know, such is life. And when you start to realize 
that life is what it is and to accept what your circumstances are, it becomes easier to find joy. When I realized that the world didn't necessarily meet up to my expectations and I was not, ref not willing to lower my standards, which I used to confuse with my expectations, it was just creating angst for me. So I began to shift my expectations. And that's not to say that I gave up on the world or gave up on there being any good people. But I think when you walk around expecting that there's a friend in everyone that you meet, in this day and age, in this society here in America, you are setting yourself up for possible disappointment, probable disappointment in my case, with me being a black woman who dresses like a tomboy um, and isn't afraid of of being who I am, it tends to make people think that they can judge me based on what they see and that they have no desire to go further past their eye. You know what I'm saying? And so I grew up where you waved at everybody, you say hello, and you expect a hello back, um, and where everybody was a potential friend. And it took me, I don't even want to say how many years, but decades to finally accept that that's just not true. You're, my neighbor is not my friend. That's not my choice. It's just the way that it is for me to have the expectation that the people that I live next to will be my friends is just one of those things where I'm creating my own unhappiness. Once I've accepted that that's not the case, that that's just not my truth, then I found that I could be happier. You know, I know now and I accept these people are who they are and I am who I am and that's okay. And this may sound like I'm oversimplifying what is happiness, and I don't mean to be, but I'm giving an example, an illustration of how sometimes just being real with yourself about what's around you, what you're dealing with, will help you find peace. You know, you wouldn't get into a car and expect it to ride like a motorcycle right? Otherwise, you're going to be really disappointed in the ride because the motorcycle, you have the open wind on your face, you know, maybe blowing through your hair, you know, there's this freedom and exhilaration and independence that comes from riding a bike compared to being enclosed in a car. Um, it's a totally different experience. And if you're expecting the motorcycle ride inside of a car, you're going to be unhappy, right? So that's, that's all I'm saying. And that's my piece of advice for you today is get rid of the what ifs, deal with what's real, and you'll be on the path to personal happiness. Good luck, guys.